Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Vulture API. We'll be doing this with basically two different examples, one with the curl command and one with Python. And what we're going to do is basically show you how to deploy new instances, new VPS instances from the command line and from Python. So let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. And I'm logged into my Vulture dashboard and you can see that I don't have any uh, VPS instances deployed right now, but we'll take care of that in a second. The first thing I have to do though is to enable the API. So up in the upper right hand corner, find your name and then go to the API section and simply click on enable API. Now this is going to um, give you your API key, which I'm gonna copy right here off the bat and make note of it over here, just so I have it later on in the video when we need to reference it. And then uh, one last thing here. And then um, what we wanna do is to basically by default, they give you some type of access control. I'm going to remove what they have here for the sake of this tutorial and just allow all IPv4 connections. So you might want to lock it down a little bit more based on your current IP address or where you plan on accessing the Vulture API. Um, but just to keep it simple, I'm going to allow any traffic from any IP address at this point. Okay, so with that said, let's go back to... Um, our profile, nope, not our profile. Let's go back to our products page and take note again that we have no Vulture instances. Um, open up a terminal window if you're on Mac or Linux. If you're on um, Windows, then you might have trouble doing this. Uh, I, I think, unless you have the curl command on there, which I don't think you do. Um, this first part of the tutorial is gonna be specifically using the curl command to interact with the API. So, and this is this is just to give you the fundamentals of how the API works um, within the documentation. So what we wanna do, we basically need three pieces of information to deploy a new server. The first one is the region, the second one is the plan, and the third one is the operating system that you want. So in order to know what those values are that the API is expecting, we can issue a series of three commands. So the first one would look something like this. So it says curl, um, and, and if you're not familiar, I should explain curl is just a way to make a request with either get or post data and get a response back from a server. And it's perfect to interact with an API, like a very easy way to interact with the API. So we're gonna call the curl command with the Volter API um, domain name which is located here at api.vulture.com slash version two slash regions. Regions is specifically what we're interested in uh, to figure out what those locations are. And we'll hit enter. And these are all the valid locations where you can spin up a VPS server. So um, we got New Jersey, we got, um, and it's kind of hard to see here, uh, but you can, you can pick out where you're, where you want your Vulture instance to, to be deployed at. Um, and what you want is specifically from this list, the ID. So if you want it in Atlanta, you would say ATL for the ID. If you want it in Amsterdam, AMS. I think I'm gonna pick Sydney down here, SYD. So get, just keep note of that for the future. Uh, we'll go through this step-by-step. Step. Next thing you wanna do is figure out what the options are, the valid options are for the plan. So let's add some space here. We'll do something very, very similar, but this time the only difference is we're calling the API uh, plans uh, request. So I don't, that doesn't really make sense. We're calling the API and we're querying it for the type of plans that it has. So we'll execute that and it'll give us response. And we got this whole big list of all the different types of plans that they have. So the one that I am, I mean, we can do any of one of these, but let's just keep it simple and do a basic one gigabyte instance. Um, and as you can see, they go up to the, the bigger sizes of RAM and CPU cores and all that stuff, like 32 gigabytes down here. Um, but let's just keep it simple with that um, basic one gigabyte instance. And now the last piece of information we need is the type of operating system. So again, very similar. We're going to, let's add a few lines here. We'll, add, we'll query the API, the Vulture API for the types of OSs that it supports. And that comes back with another pretty big list. 
and what we are looking for here, I'm, I want to do um, Ubuntu 20.04, and I can pick that out from the list. It's right here. Uh, so Ubuntu 20.04, uh, the ID for that is 387, so we'll make note of that. Now, with all that information, we can combine that into a, uh, a request to the API to deploy a new server instance. Okay, so this is going to be a little overwhelming at first, but I'll walk you through it. This is the command that we want to execute. So basically, it's going to be curl. Uh, this is a post request. We're interacting with the Vulture API version 2 and specifically the instances aspect of that API. Now we're gonna give it a header. The header has this string, which is uh, authorization bearer, which um, if this doesn't look familiar, this is my API key, which I jotted down earlier. And then you just wanna change that to your own API key. And then another header, the content type is JSON. Now the raw data, this is just basically a dictionary of those, those val the key value pairs that we just looked up. So the region, like I said, I wanted it to be in Sydney. The plan was that one gigabyte plan. Uh, the operating system ID is 387. And then the label, this can be whatever you want. I'm just calling mine hello from curl. So let's go ahead and execute that command and we'll pay particular attention in the background. Oops, unauthorized IP address. Uh, let's see here. I thought I allowed all IPv4 connections, but let's go back in here and make sure that's actually the case. So we have the API enabled all connections. Hmm, let's double check that, Mary. Yeah, maybe we'll allow all IPv6. I'm not sure, maybe my computer's interacting with IPv6. So uh, we'll go back to the products page, no instances. Let's try to execute that command one more time. Hit enter, and now it worked. So it was an IPv6 kind of thing. Um, it gives us back some ins information like the instance ID. I'm gonna jot that down because we're gonna need that in a little bit. Um, but let me refresh the page here and let's see if that instance is deploying and it actually is. So it's installing right now, as you can see right here. And uh, we're gonna have to just wait a few seconds for that to install. And then we can get the IP address of the instance because by default, the IP address is not um, known until it's actually deployed. Uh, they don't make that information available to you at that point. So um, now that it's up and running, we can go back into our terminal window and try to get the IP address. And we can do that with something that looks like this. Now again, a little overwhelming, but I'll walk you through it. So we're gonna make a get request with the curl command to the API. And we we just made a request to the instances um, uh, API, but now we're adding a slash and then the instance ID that I just talked about. So where did I get this from? Well, that's just the instance ID that it gave me back from the previous command. So our complete URL is this right here. And then you should recognize this as well. The, we're adding a header, authorization bearer, and our API key. So if we execute that, and I should have added a few spaces here, but let's try to look through this here. Our main IP address is 149281645. And let's see if that matches up with what we have in the background and it does, so 149281645. So uh, basically that is um, a quick overview of how to use the Vulture API with the curl command. Let's look at how to use the Vulture API with Python. Now, uh, the version of Python that I'm using, Python-V is Python 3.8.5. I think as long as you're using a, a modern version of Python, um, then you should be good to go. So let's just do this on the Python terminal shell so we'll just type in python here and now by these three uh, uh what are they greater than signs this is now the python terminal so this only accepts python uh, commands and python code um off screen i have a, a python script but i'm going to go through it with you line by line just so we're all on the same page so the first thing i'm going to do is import requests because we're going to use the requests library, and let me spell that right, R-E-Q-U-E-S-T-S. -E um, and I'm just going to copy and paste because I, I tend to make typing errors when I'm talking at the same time. So the request library will use that to interact with the API, kind of like we did with the curl command. 
Um, I'm gonna define my API key in a variable here, API key and then the value. Um, the URL of the API specifically that we're gonna be working with in this case is the api.vulture.com slash v2 slash instances. Okay, so we'll define that URL. And then um, kind of like you saw up above, very similar, we're gonna define a dictionary of headers. So uh, the key is authorization, the value bear in the API key that we just defined up above. And then the content type is application JSON. If you remember from up above as well with the curl command, this is a very similar um, dictionary of key value pairs where we're specifying the instance information. So the region this time, instead of Sydney, I picked EWR, which is New Jersey. Uh, we kept the same plan, that one gigabyte plan. The label this time is hello from Python, and we're gonna keep the same operating system ID, uh, which is Ubuntu 20.04. The ID for that is 387. So we'll define that as well. Now, this is the very cool part where we can actually uh, make a request to the API server. And this is very simple to do with the requests library that we imported at the top up here. So, um, or I guess it would be this one requests with an S. So we're gonna make a post request here to the URL. Again, we define the URL up here. The JSON data is going to be our dictionary right here. And then the headers, which we define up here, are um, assigned to the headers element in this function. Uh, it's not an element, it's a parameter, I should say. All right, so we'll go ahead and execute that. And the response uh, has been assigned to the response object. So we can look at the response object raw right now with response.json. And you'll see that same similar kind of information that we got back from up above. So we have the ID of our instance which is important, we'll use that in a bit. Um, and actually let's make a, a variable for that. So let's pull that out. So the response.json and then index into this uh, multi-level dictionary. So instance ID, and let's see if that pulled it out for us. Instance ID equals, yep, that is our uh, instance ID. And let's, let's go back here and see what's going on in the background. That should make a new one. Yep, it's installing hello from Python, the one gigabyte server in New Jersey. And while that's running, something something uh, if you're if you're ending up scripting this in the future, you want to add some type of delay because you can see it takes some time for this to install, maybe like 30 seconds to a minute, maybe more. So you can do that with by importing the time package and doing something like time dot sleep. Uh, this will this will just sleep the the script for five seconds. But you know if it takes a little bit longer than that, you want to may, maybe make a minute or so. Um, and then finally, um, we like we did up above with the curl command, we need to query the API again for that specific instance to get the IP address. And that was the same URL that we had before, which was this URL slash the instance ID. So this is what our current URL looks like. And basically we wanna combine that with the slash. So we're gonna take the current URL slash our instance ID. Okay, so we're just gonna make a new string with that, and that looks something like this, instance URL. So API version two instances, and then our instance ID. And we can do, um, again, very similar to what we did up above, requests, and this time it's gonna be a get request, uh, the URL, and we're gonna add a head, the, the same exact headers as we had before. And we're gonna assign that to the instance response. So the instance response, if we look at that, as far as JSON is concerned, just raw here on the screen, we'll see that we do have our IP address here. So if we wanna pull that out, we can do that like this. So the instance response, JSON, and then we're gonna index into the instance right here, and then the main IP right here, and assign that to the IP address variable. And then finally, IP address, is 45762229. Let's see if that matches up. And it does 45762229. If you guys want to see this code um, scripting and curl commands in a blog post, I have that link below. I also have credits for Vulture if you're new to it, link below as well. 
Um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Check out some of my other videos over here. Please subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.